Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool. Truly, learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's good, Rao Middle School? It is Mr. Dix After Dark. I am here late recording the anchor segment for the Shamrock News. I am a little bit out of it, but I'm still in the zone. I am under the weather, but I am over the moon to be here with you. After a few days of coughing like Loretta Lynn's pops, we are here ready to work on the Shamrock News. And I would like to kick things off by sending you to our correspondents who are going to update you on the Lexia Challenge. Wait. We are back with our Lexia Challenge update. Remember, our school's goal is to complete 30,000 Lexia units between February 5th and March 5th. If we do so, we will earn a dance on Friday, March 15th, 2024. Here's our most recent updates. Eighth grade, you are at 3,570 units completed. Seventh grade, you are at 2,868 units completed. And sixth grade, you've nearly beat seventh and eighth grade combined with a total of 5,702 units. That gives us a school wide total of 12,140 units completed. Come on. Here's the thing. We have 21 school days to get to 30,000 units. That means we should be completing 1,428 units per day. Currently, we are averaging 1,348 units per day, which means we are off pace to 30,000. If we continue at this rate, we will not earn the March 15th dance. <sighs> If we do hit 30,000 units and over that month's time, if you've completed zero units, unfortunately, you will not be able to attend the dance. Yes. Oh Get those units, guys. So let's, let's kick it up, up a notch, Rao. Looking at you, seventh and eighth graders. <laughs> Attention all BSC students. BSU Family Night goes down on Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. We want you to join us at Ralph Middle School with your peoples. The event will take place from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. We'll have music, food, games, and fun for everyone who comes to hang with us. If you're a BSU member and you're interested in joining us, please have your family fill out the form in your RAL Hub. We look forward to seeing all of you on Thursday, February 22nd from the BSU Family Night. Make sure that you purchase those yearbooks by Friday, March 1st. Ms. Hoskins and our yearbook team have been working hard on the 2023 to 2024 yearbook. And that yearbook is now available for purchase. The yearbook is $20. Which is a steal, considering how awesome it's going to be. It's a collection of photos and memories from a wonderful school year. It's also something people can sign on the last day of school to wish you a happy summer or the trade snaps. There is a green order form in the front lobby information section. Parents can purchase them online through our website. The QR code is on the green sheet. The link is in our grade level hub. You can also bring cash or check to the front office. So if you want some memories from this year and you want something people can sign, buy a yearbook. You must purchase a yearbook by March 1st. 
If you would like to know if you purchased a yearbook, stop by the front office, they will tell you. Today's book is, from a please, The Honest Truth by Dan Jimhart. And it's about a boy named Mark who lives in Seattle, but the sad thing is he's really sick and he's in the hospital for like half his life and his treatments aren't going well for him, like they aren't working. So he decides to run away. I feel like it's a good book for many reasons. And I recommend this book for people who like adventure in animals. Because there is a certain animal who plays the main character. Going on to that, why this is my favorite book to read is because there is a pet that is like a main character in the book. And it's really cool, really fun. I recommend this for people who like adventure. And just in general, read the book. It's nice, cool, fun. And ever have any questions, people know about it and so I recommend this book for people who like adventure and animals and generally I just recommend the book those are my reasons why I like the book and I feel like you guys would like it too so get the book it's in the library it's called The Honest Truth by Dan Jaminhart just ask Miss McGee she'll give you it right away peace Track season is just around the corner and track season is super duper fun and you should all register and sign up for it. Hey Rao Shamrocks, it's time for Track and Field at Rao Middle School. You might be asking yourself, what is Track and Field? Well, Track and Field is one of only two sports offered at the middle school level in the district. It has some running, which is your sprints, relays, and distance. It has some throwing, your javelin, your discus, and your shot put. And it's got some jumping, that's your long jump and your high jump. And this is a sport where participants will compete against the other middle schools in the North Clackamas School District. It is both an individual and a team sport. Here's your basic information. The season starts April 1st and goes until May 15th. Practices are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 4.15 to 5.30 at Rao Middle School. The meets are going to be Thursdays at Alder Creek Middle School. There will be three guaranteed meets with a district meet for those who qualify. If you want to know how to sign up, please make sure that you go to the Rao Hub or grab a flyer from one of the teachers or up front from the main office and scan the QR code. You need to register and have all of your stuff, like your physicals and all that stuff, submitted by Friday, April 5th in order to participate this year. Make sure you get your physical from a physician, make sure you get your stuff signed up by April 5th, and then make sure you come out for track and field to have a wonderful, fun time. That's right, officially in the morning, you can grab two cereals. Two cereals. Two cereals. Eat one in the morning and take an extra cereal, eat it dry later. So if one cereal ain't enough, make sure you grab a second for later in the day. Two cereals. We got some competitions coming up at Round Middle School over the next couple weeks. We got one this Friday, we got one next Friday. We want you to come out and participate.
Attention Rao Hoopers, do you think you got the most hoop game in the school? Think you can work anybody on the court? Are you pretty sure that nobody can guard you and you can clamp up anyone else? Come prove it on Friday, March 1st, the basketball 1v1 tournament during lunches. We'll be playing two games on the main court and in the main gym. Here's how it will work. We play by ones and twos. You only get one shot. If you miss it, it's the other person's ball. First person to three points wins and stays on the court. Next person in line comes on and plays defense. At the end of lunch, whoever is the winner on each court will win a prize. We welcome all students and even staff members. See you at the 1v1 Hoops Tournament on Friday, March 1st, 2024. Hey Rao Middle School, do you want to show off your typing skills? Do you want to prove that you got the fastest fingers of 2024? Do you want to press everybody with your word typing abilities? Then join Shamrock News on Friday, September 23rd for our Rao Middle School School Typing Contest. We'll be in the library with our computer connected to the big screen TV for students to hop on and try out their typing skills. Students will head to a typing website and complete an activity or exercise. From there, we will determine who has the quickest digits in all of Round Middle School. Mm -hmm. Top 5 fastest typers will earn a prize. So come on, join us on Friday, February 23rd and flex your fastness. I know that we've done this the last few years, but we got some new water fountains in the building. So we want to know once again, what is your favorite water fountain in the building? And that's the topic of this week's Shamrock Survey. For the first Shamrock Survey of the 2024 school year, we don't want to talk about hydration. People throughout the building need to get water all the time. Some people fill up their water bottle. Some people just get drinks of water from the fountain. We want to know which water fountain is our school's favorite. So we asked people to tell us about their favorite water fountain and why they like it so much. Let's hit the halls! Hello, my favorite Hi, water you. fountain is probably the one right next to my classroom, 102 so I can keep my eye on the kids and have some fun in the halls. Anastasia, Miss Anna. Okay. What's your favorite water fountain? Um, that one. It has the best water. It's always the hardest. Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite water fountain? Water fountain, that one. Say the number. Uh, um, the one by the lunchroom. What's your favorite water fountain? Um, that one right there, next What's to the... Say the number. What number? Lunchroom one. The lunchroom one. And just one final ingredient for my extra special potion, an exclamation mark. It would be really bad if I accidentally put a question mark. Oh no. I just did the really, really bad thing. I put a question mark in there instead of an exclamation point. No, no, this is, this is really, really, really bad. I gotta get rid of this. This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. <gasps> oh no, I, no. <laughs> 
Oh no, I, I, I didn't mean to. <coughs> Are those question marks? Oh no. Our AAPI group will be selling snacks next Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure you tap in and lock in. We're having a fundraiser the last week of February. We would love for you to come and support our fundraising for AAPI. <laughs> We'll be selling Asian Pacific Islander snacks and drinks. So bring your money in the last week of February. Oh. Cloud Thanks for joining us, Rao. It's probably a quick Actually, I don't know if it's a quick one or not. I haven't put it together yet. But uh, thanks for joining us for the Shamrock News. We will see you again next week with student anchors. I don't know what happened this week. I tried to get some anchor stuff ready to go, but I wasn't here. You know, everything goes and how everything goes when there's a sub and stuff. And sometimes things get lost in communication. I wasn't planning on being on camera in my state in the slippers, but... I am on camera, and I can't wait to see y'all on Thursday when I'm hopefully back here and healthy and not hacking up alone. So, much love to y'all. Peace. Here's Shamrock Shoutouts. you like to give a shamrock shout out to? I like to give one to my boy Jaden, because he's my best friend. Who do you want to give a shamrock shout out to? Elliot, Trendis, Jamila, Zoe, Andrea, Jackson, and the Shamrock community. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? My mother, because I love her. Who, who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, Luke, Dylan, Dakota, Eli, is that it? Kennedy, um, and all my other friends. Yeah. Thank you. I would like to give a shamrock shout out to Jason and the three that are filming me right now. I forgot their name. Who, who would you like to give a shamrock shout out to? Um, Justin. Who would you like to give a shamrock shout out to? Shamrock shout out to Aaliyah. I like to give a shamrock shout out to Miss Isabel, Kennedy, Cara, Mariah, and Julian. Got some competitions coming up at Rao Middle School over the next couple weeks. We got one this Friday. We won't got soon to be here with you. I was out of school today and I will be out of school. Oh no! Run! Run! Oh no! Oh no! Um, Zoe, Jamila. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they finish! Oh, I thought you were gonna say that the, the people that like it. Uh, Can we redo this? Who do you like to give a shamrock shout out to? I'd like to give a shamrock shout out to Isla, Avery, the new student, um, Emily, Jamila, Zoe, Miss Nova. Yeah. What's up, Rouse Shamrocks? Today I'm introducing the two AAPI council members, Kayala and Brenda. Woo! Woo!
The event will take place from 6, p 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Hey! We're filming! Oh my god. Not. Four hours in one month and get no units done. It means that you're not trying and you're not doing it enough. Let's not add that last part that I just said, so let's do this one more time. If we do hit 30,000 units. So, peace right now. So, and how you say it is so simple. It's very gem in heart, and it's really funny to say. But I recommend the book, so get the book. Okay, do you want me to, I am do you want me to be like... Get <laughs> <laughs> like, out of the water fountain. Oh, Eat up, oh, five, four, three, 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 one. Three, yeah, three, yay! Three, yeah. Three, three, yeah. Oh. What am I saying? Uh, Some people just get drinks of water from the fountain. Am I going? You don't understand how... <laughs> <laughs> One. Two cereal. Just two cereals, those, yeah, those words. Cereals. Not me. Miss Hoskins and our yearbook team have been working hard on the 2023 to 20. Hold on, let's retry that. Yo. Miss Hoskins and our yearbook team have been working hard on the 2023 to 2024 yearbook. It is a serpent. Which wait, hold up. Keep recording. Keep it recording. Sunshine in my eyes and